In previous videos, we have shown the value that Curator brings to problem determination by the way it automatically ingests flows and process laws, flows. But not always you have to have uh, flows to get value from Curator. In this particular example, we are going to be seeing in this uh, demo system how uh, we, we are going to be detecting a sequence of events uh, that happen when somebody tried to uh, steal credit card data from a system. So what we're going to be doing here is we are going to use the right click option to play back uh, some uh, sequence of events that is this one personal record one and as you see those events are, are playing back here and we see Juniper firewall the nights coming from different countries China Argentina that might be Iran uh, and we see a, a bunch of actions and we're going to come back and make sense of all these and no one should have to be watching the screen to make sense out of all this because that's what rules uh, in the offenses are for there's going to be an offense that is going to fire in one of these particular events that will trigger the fact that we're going to be uh, making all these uh, all these analysis so if we go to the offenses tab we see actually uh, this offense number 90 sensitive action on sensitive servers so let's click on it and see what we can learn from this offense that is calling our attention for first of all we see here the destination IP that's seem to be the target that's the source IP that's something in, inside our network uh, but this is the the destination um, and this is a username uh, that's a system admin uh, uh, DBA admin and uh, we see here uh, uh, a domain that is a personal record and that's a segment of the network in which def we define to curator where we have a bunch of, uh, of uh, sensitive uh, items we can actually see the, the attack path for this particular offense so let me bring this uh, this screen back here to the center and actually minimize this a bit and uh, this is actually the the, the, the path Th let me actually of this a little closer so we can actually see more details and so you can actually see what was the, the path traverse here we see a firewall deny rule and that's probably has to do with the fact that you know some of these uh, we saw a bunch of firewall denies uh, what else can we uh, actually see in here well we, we see what the target uh, seems to be and we're going to be going back to the logs and out of all these logs let's do a search and let's look for only those event that has to do with that source IP that destination IP that target uh, so we're gonna say give me all the events that happened in the last uh, well, let's make this uh, 15 minutes or so and the search parameter that we're gonna use is actually destination IP and here it is and that is IP in case that you don't remember which it was was 10.66.7.45 we add that filter and execute a search so we're going to filter all those events and we only want those that has to do with this destination and look at that we we see all those in fact we didn't even see in the, in the when the logs were replaying this, this somebody also knocking on that server from the US from China Argentina twice and Iran uh, and the firewall is doing what it's supposed to be doing uh, denying access nobody's going to be waking up for that and that's why the magnitude of those events is so low but here we see Login failures into an Oracle database, Jen Doe, John Smith, and then oh, SysDBA. So <laughs> somehow, somebody by gaining access of that uh, source IP, uh, the .50 IP, that's uh, I think that's a VPN server, uh, was able to get access to uh, to the actual uh, database. So this is. This is uh, a time for doing uh, an investigation. In fact, uh, one thing I did not show you is on the rule that, that, that got at the, our attention. Let's actually take a look at the rule it's, that was used for that offense to fire. And when we expand that rule, we, we see that it's actually a very simple rule, like many rules in Curator. It's just 
when the domain is personal record, and that's the segment of the network that we define to create where we have sensitive servers, and the action is the taxonomy called system uh, uh, action allowed. And that's mean actions that are performed typically by by DBA, sysadmin, admins in Windows, and things like that, right? So you say, well, you know, th these are actions that we want to be known every time, even when uh, correctly so, somebody makes access to it. If we click onto the next action, we see, you know, uh, that in here, that that's actually the event name that we saw, sensitive action on sensitive server. And as you see, the, the, the event description said all these events should be audited, uh, use forensic uh, if needs be. And that's actually a very good suggestion. Let, let's actually, uh, for that particular offense, we we actually going to be run, running uh, a forensic report. And actually, I have the case open in here, which is actually personnel. And here are the records that came out. So let's look at the last one, imported document. It's actually, let me bring this screen here to the center. And it says, well, there was an imported document, oral DBA. It's on a spreadsheet. What's in that spreadsheet? Well, I just downloaded that. And let me actually bring that uh, spreadsheet actually it doesn't like one some of the fonts but uh, look at that what we have in here is somebody made the mistake of leaving a, a, a file with passwords and that's the sysdba password that was actually used by that attacker uh, to actually log in so at least we know how he got in and actually we let's see what what is it that he actually application protocol he so he downloaded some information so we he we see here a dump car cc dump the txt so it seems to be a credit card number with cvv files and some probably user ids uh, and here we see actually looks like the same file but it's he actually renamed it to cc car dump looks like he was preparing to uh bring all that information and here the file actually local copy SDC card so this is probably bringing it to a laptop or, or some Android device that have SDC cards so he downloaded this information and one of the things that we can do is for example uh, uh, forensic is actually very useful in say well uh, let's, let's take a look at the attributes of this file because we know that because the file is actually very small in here we could see that was the same file but we can actually look at that uh, the, our forensic took a hash of, uh, of that particular file and what we can do is that we can right click here and say show me every scene where this file plays I want to know everywhere else that that, that that file was actually shown and in this particular case these are the very same files that, uh, that we saw before but this is a way of really doing uh, you know, identification of all the actions that actually happened. So we know that somebody was being denied access first. Uh, he found out uh, probably using some user ID uh, through the VPN. He was able to find a file with a, with a, with the password. He impersonated uh, uh, a sysadmin. He downloaded some credit card data. But you see, just with logs alone and with the help of forensic, we were able to reproduce all the actions that happened in this case.